They just wrapped the film. So there's yeah. all the Mike Marino. Give it up for Natasha. Yeah. Let's go, y'all. Let's get the Coke refill. Okay. Bye now. 
but yeah, I mean, I've worked at a Mommy Burger. Anybody know of a Mommy Burger? Uh, yeah. It's like that bougie burger place where it kind of smells funky, but you eat it anyway. <laughs> so I was the host. So I pretended like going in, like I was like, oh my God, I love life, right? And then the people would come in. And so I remember this one customer came in, Elizabeth. And I was like, hi, you know, welcome to the Mommy Burger. <laughs> Table for two? And then she was like, uh, she was like, yes, but I have a couple of questions about your menu. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> you have questions, okay. What is in your umami burger? Is it soy? Is it gluten free? Where does the bun come from? Is it wheat? Does the wheat come from the actual ground? How do you kill your cows? Do you kill them in the back of your restaurant? Do you take their guts and spread them all over the burger and think that that's okay? Do the, ki do the cows die in pain? Do they eat peacefully? Do they don't have it when they're done? Are the cows made from real cows? I'm like, actually, <laughs> whoa, like, I don't work here. <laughs> so sorry. Who are you? And she was like, but you, but you just said welcome. And I was like, yeah, 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 I know what I said, lady, but I gave my notice when you started to talk. <laughs> yeah, thank you, thank you. Um, if you haven't noticed already, I'm wearing bright red lipstick, okay? Uh, for any ladies out there, it's, uh, I love it when people are like, oh my god, who are you wearing, you know? I'm like, oh my god, lady balls. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's called lady balls. Lady balls, lady balls, lady balls. <laughs> god, I love it. Okay. You know, I mean, I wear it and I feel so light and beautiful all over, you know? Besides, it's the closest thing to balls that comes to my face. <laughs> <laughs> Meaning, like, I babysat for this kid, and he was like, his name was Tim or whatever. He reminded me of, like, Precious or Tiny Tim from the movie Scrooge or whatever. And he was like, hey, you look like Pennywise, the dancing clown from It. Like, he literally told me I look like someone who murders kids and then eats them. <laughs> so naturally, I was highly offended, so I ate him. Oops. <laughs> Let's see, let's see. You ever find it frustrating when uh, your car is a mess and then somebody asks you for a ride home? And you're like, wait a second. <laughs> I need a five minute head start, sir. <laughs> so I like run to my car and I throw all the trash into my trunk, right? The 500 straw wrappers from Starbucks, uh, the In-N-Out burger from the night before and the night before that. The chocolate milkshake from in and out that spilled all over the cup holder. You know, I got some lady balls that smeared on the mirrors and on the seats. <laughs> uh, I got a clown wig, some red balloons. Yeah. Trump's tax returns. I don't fucking know. Uh, but you know what would be cool though? If I had like a personal assistant for my car, right? That's so just like, hello, like rolls down the, rolls down the window. Like, she rolls down the window for me. She's like, hello, you've reached Natasha's car. She cannot come to driver's seat right now. She trapped in back seat under a pile of middle-aged men from Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> Rose will go back up. I don't know. I'm trying to think. Uh, let's see. Any ladies out there not like wearing bras? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, yeah? Like, that was like very, yes. 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 Thank you. You too, sir? <laughs> Thank you for that. That just made my night. Thank you. But yeah, I didn't like wearing a bra growing up. Like, I never knew what bra size I was. And uh, my mom, I remember the first time I went bra shopping, my mom took me bra shopping, and we went to Colts. Anybody else have their mom take them to Colts or whatever, or some kind of bra shopping? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Um, so I remember my mom would yell for me across the store, holding up the bra, right? Like, no shame. Honey, Natasha, how's this bra for you, sweetie? We don't want the boys going too crazy for your nanny nanny. <laughs> mom, I'm freaking five feet from you. I'm right here. But yeah. Anyways, <laughs> so then I decided, uh, also growing up, like I would just throw on anything just to like cover my nipples. Like I didn't even think twice about it. 
like uh, my brother's truck strap, I don't fucking know, but two dads just to cover the nipples, maybe tape some coffee filters, or my sister's bras, or whatever. And then I decided to be an adult one day and go into Victoria's Secret. Any, yeah. Yes, okay. It's, it's cool, I mean, I literally felt like I was walking into my very own fairy tale, sleeping boobies. <laughs> and like this woman, she uh, comes up to me and she's like, my name is uh, Alexia. And if you have any questions, uh, here's your bra that I think might fit you. Just ring the doorbell when you're ready. There's a doorbell in the dressing room. I was, yes, there is. I was so hyped on life. I was like, wow. Anyways, okay, moving on. Um, trying the bra, you know, I ring the doorbell. She's like, sweetie, you actually, it's Lexia, by the way, you actually have to open the door to let me in. I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. I mean, I'm just in my bra, you think we get coffee first or whatever, you know? And so I open the door and she looks at my boobs and she's like, oh my God, sweetie Lexia here. It looks like one boob is bigger than the other. Ooh, mm. Don't worry, we've seen many women with similar cases. But here's a fragment for you. Okay, thank you so much, Lexia. She, okay, case is, this is an NCIS case of the deformed boob. Okay? First of all, when I go into Victoria's Secret, I expect to be treated like I'm a beautiful woman, right? Thank you so much. So I threw Lady Bowls at her left. And I'm Natasha. Thank you so much. Natasha! Natasha Cap. Man, she was fancy. She was talking about shopping at Kohl's. Fancy shit. I'm white trash. My mom's shot the fucking yard cells. Coles, that's rich people shit. Man, fucking coal. 